this is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit and today I'm going to talk about holidays. I got up late this morning and I got up and looked at the clock it said 555 I usually get up at 5.30. Anyway, so it's the weekend coming up. And so I thought of doing something, so a subject around the idea of giving yourself a break or giving yourself some space, some freedom. kind of freedom that lies within that allowing the patience within to allow things to happen allow things to be what they are there's so much freedom in that 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 sense of openness inside and like I continue to talk about it's all something that is coming from within inside so I started this painting out with a kind of a purplish tone and when I painted billboards that was a term that was used was holiday I see a holiday in your your sign usually that was referring to when you painted a what was called a copy billboard basically is just letters lettering solid colors solid color background and so a holiday was when you allowed that and usually painting something with a dark blue or dark red or dark green the background would show through and i'm pretty sure the the term is an old sign painter term, so I was a youngin. But I think that term was used because you weren't paying attention and you let things go and didn't fill in. And it would make a big difference painting billboards because they're outside in the sun and if you didn't get the paint on completely eventually you would see little areas of white coming through the paint as the sun would fade it anyway <laughs> that's maybe a little more information than you needed about billboards billboard painting painting signs Today, it's funny, it's a funny thought to me though because now I just love holidays in my paintings like I'm doing here. This is actually like a, a little sunset that I did quite quickly. <laughs> I could just leave it alone right now. But I'm not going to. I'm going to continue painting, see what happens. But just that, you know, I talk about using mediums. Um, that's what I'm using right now. They can give you this translucent effect, which makes just using a gentle touch, playing with the pigments. I just like those colors. I almost do want to just leave this painting. I'm not going to. <clears throat> I'm going to fill the time. And 
that's something about this idea of holiday that I came up with is I know it's can happen quite a bit for myself anyways where I get into this place of trying to get things done and it's that mental space of mentally trying to fill every moment every every part of the day with something productive and there's nothing wrong with that but when it's that mental um kind of pressure it can be quite exhausting I remember you know my family went on vacations quite a bit up north northern Michigan that was the vacation to have if you're from Michigan you know all about that and I remember at some point because we would have vacations with other family members or friends and and I remember conversations happening around the differences between people and vacations and the way they see vacations there's a style of vacation where you fill the vacation with all kinds of to do activities and whoops excuse me And then there's the style of just chilling out and letting things happen as they do, no pressure. I think actually both can be coming from a place of no pressure. Let's see, how am I going to do this yellowish glow that I see here? I'm going to just play around with moving the paint, allowing those holidays to show through. that little extra I don't have to do too much I could actually leave that maybe add something up here it's maybe kind of a bluish I'm gonna put in some some blue with some white in my brush and so I got that holiday kind of happening in the paint but this is look a little less translucent here when I'm putting on top. That would be the top of the cloud there. Just allowing that one little brush stroke to happen. I'm not sure it quite captured what I was looking for, so as I got that white in there, I can add some other colors in it and it'll So that little bit of interest in the painting is kind of different than the rest. Kind of like playing with the, uh, doesn't have to be super real to me. Get, get some of this paint off my brush. see here now I'm gonna get some intense blue in with some of that thicker medium and see what happens there just adding a different kind of blue in so I'm just I decided today to just approach this painting a little bit differently I think I talked yesterday about I've gotten into this habit of you know moving really quickly with these these paintings and there's a part of me that wants to just slow down and pay attention to the subtleties and just you know simple things like that happening and a little bit of intense blue I'm not sure if it's really working but you know come back in and 
change it. Sometimes just slowing down like that and allowing things to happen in the painting can be really refreshing. And it gets me out of the habit of, you know, feeling like I got to have something, you know, to capture people's attention. You know, if I really thought that was important, <laughs> I wouldn't be doing these Facebook Live videos because I realize a lot of people are just, filling some maybe even taking a mental break getting on Facebook maybe they've been stressed out at work and something so they just want a mental break and not really looking to spend a whole lot of time on one video of watching somebody paint those of you who are probably not doing the the scroll thing so much and you're returning to these videos because you want to find that space within this is a nice way to tap into that I had a little intense red there you see how I'm just sort of playing with colors right now not a whole lot I'm doing with brushwork, but just that little bit of red in there open this painting up. A tree line. And again, playing with the holidays. I might bring in a, another little brush. So I don't have to fill my my painting with all this busyness that happens a lot of times in those abstract paintings. But a little something like that, that's kind of cool. And I don't need to just allow it to be there. It's another element that adds some interest to it. Still not quite feeling this area is complete yet. So, let's see, this area here, that bit just sort of seems, I don't know, I want something else to happen there. So, even though I'm working very minimally with this cloud painting, I'm looking for, I'm feeling for, areas where I can bring something a little different. And I, I don't really even know what that is. I'm just feeling around for it. Just a little bit of a different way of handling the paint. I picked up some darker blues there. So zeroing in on a particular area like that, allowing the openness to happen and <clears throat> the rest of the painting. That was kind of nice. That allowed that translucency to happen in the cloud there. Let's see if I can wrap this up. Heard my bell there. I'm gonna bring some pure white in here. And that kind of just added another dimension to the painting. Just that little bit. Maybe a little calligraphy. I think that was something that was talked about in one of the artist chat talks we've been doing through all artworks. With Dove Telpaz hosting it. I mentioned that back when those began. I think there was a conversation about what calligraphy was. I think it turned into a conversation around energy. 
there's just energy in that one little brush stroke I'm definitely not a calligrapher I played around with calligraphy when I was younger really liked it but I don't know if it's because of the way that I I paint I do paint the focus on energy I guess there is a little bit of calligraphy in the way that I paint but to me it feels a little differently because there's that element of feeling around for things that just that little bit there well I think you are somebody who has that awareness of that holiday within that space within that you can tune into if you're following these videos you probably are have an awareness of that space within a gentle smile within and I'm glad you're joining me every week get out your brushes this weekend see what you can do we'll see you next week